your well water smells like rotten eggs or like something out of a swamp, you're not alone. These problems are common. Hydrogen peroxide might be the solution you didn't know you needed. Today, I'll show you how hydrogen peroxide can eliminate odors, help restore taste, clarity, in some cases, the color of your well water, fast, safely, and without any chlorine. Welcome to Clean Water Made Easy. I'm Jerry Bolfin, WQA Certified Master Water Specialist, Licensed Water Tuning Contract. For over 30 years, I've helped homeowners solve tough well water problems with proven science-backed solutions. If you're frustrated by poor water quality, this video is for you. Hydrogen peroxide is one of the most effective solutions for removing odors and improving taste of your well water, especially when you combine it with a proper filter system such as catalytic activated carbon. Hydrogen peroxide is an oxidizing agent. It adds oxygen to water and reacts with hydrogen sulfide gas, which is the rotten egg odor, and converts it into solid particles or odorless compounds that are then filtered out. The big advantage of peroxide is it breaks down naturally into water, leaving no chemical residual or aftertaste. A lot of folks confuse hydrogen peroxide with chlorine because chlorine disinfects water, it kills bacteria. Hydrogen peroxide works differently. It's adding oxygen into the water. After it's added, it breaks down into water and oxygen. So there's, there's no chemical residual like there is with chlorine, which is sodium hypochlorite or calcium hypochlorite, but you're adding some kind of salt into the water. But it's way more common for folks to combine the peroxide with the catalytic carbon. So you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the peroxide injection, and then when it hits the activated carbon, it forms, has even more powerful oxidizing effect based on the fact that it's catalytic carbon. But just to be clear, peroxide will not disinfect your water. So you're not actually killing the sulfur or iron bacteria that are often the result of this odor. So your rotten egg odors in the sulfur odor is a result of bacteria that are living on sulfur compounds in the water. And as they live and grow and die, they give off this horrible smelling hydrogen sulfide gas. So how does it actually work? What happens is that the peroxide, it's a liquid, it's just like you go to the store and buy 3% peroxide off the, at a drugstore or grocery store. And type that's most commonly used for these types of residential systems recommended is 7%. So it's, it's much stronger than the 3%, but it's not the industrial grade. So as you, if you research it, you can find out the cheapest way to buy it, if you can buy it legally in your area, is to get the 35%, which is very tough to work with. It's, it can be dangerous because it's so strong. So it's much safer and, and to work with the 7%, which is totally safe to work with. So after it's injected into the water, it, it combines with the hydrogen sulfide gas, but you might be wondering, well, how do I set it up? Well, it's very simple to set up. You basically need a metering pump, a little dosing pump or chemical injection pump that works good with peroxide. So when the well pump turns on, the um, pump will pump a little bit of peroxide out of your solution tank into the pipe. So as the water is flowing, peroxide is being injected into the pipe. So you're getting your, your, your peroxide injected into the water, typically before your pressure tank. And then you either have nothing and just kills odor and you live with whatever residue there is in the water based on the fact that the peroxide is in the water. Or you use a catalytic carbon filter which then removes any residual peroxide along with any sulfur compounds or other types of residual iron or manganese that it might have oxidized into a solid particle. Okay, so what would you expect when you install a peroxide system? Well, folks report to us it's pretty instant results, like immediately the odor is gone. As a matter of fact, we have a lot of folks that have um, water heaters that have terrible problems with this hydrogen sulfide gas. And you can put peroxide, just the 3% store-bought um, stuff into your water heater by either using a pre-filter or unscrewing the flex lines and it'll instantly kill the odor in your water heater. So when you set up your system, you will get odor for your water right away. However, it doesn't work the same way in water. When you're injecting in water, it's not going to kill the bacteria. So you do need to periodically sanitize your pipes with chlorine, it could be once a year, or if you use a UV sterilizer, then it'll kill everything as it comes through and you don't have to worry about this regrowth issue. And again, a lot of folks don't ha ever have the problem. It w may not happen to you if you don't, but it happens enough that we wanna you know, remind folks that 
the odor leaving it is fine, but you might get a regrowth or redevelopment of the odor, especially if you let the house sit, if you're gone. It's really common with vacation homes, the cottages. First thing they do, get in there, the water's horrible. And then they run the water a bunch, and pretty soon they kind of rinse through the, the odor that was in, created by the bacteria, and they're good again. So that's one good thing to know is to sanitize your pipes. Okay, well, to sum it up, hydrogen peroxide is one of our go-to recommendations, especially dealing with high levels of hydrogen sulfide odor, because when you're adding in the water, you're just adding in oxygen and it breaks down into oxygen and water so there's no residual and as a final reminder peroxide doesn't kill bacteria so if you have all form bacteria or other if you want disinfection then you would want to use a uv sterilizer as a final stage after proper filter system and if you have any questions on that just give us a call we're happy to help you with any information or sizing and how it all works. And in the next video, I'm gonna go over exactly how to set it up and the three types of peroxide systems you can get, whether you're single family well, or you're on a community system, or even on city water. So click the link in the description here and I'll see you on the next video.